Caleb, you want to introduce us off, buddy? Uh, not really, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in. Keep that Welcome, in. everybody, to the Some Ordinary Podcast. I'm your host, Caleb, a.k.a. Oompaville, and this is my other friends and hosts, friends, Mudahar and uh, Nux, Some Ordinary Gamers. We have a uh, guest, Daft Pina. Oh, that's me. That's you, yeah. You're, you're the you only gamer out of all of us. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't play no video games, dude. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, editor, can you, can you get rid of his green screen and put him in Hogwarts Legacy, please? Oh, oh God, God, no. Can you put me somewhere, anywhere else? <laughs> <laughs> what game are you actually more excited for if you do play something this year? I I'm Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Isn't that the remake? Or are you talking about Resident Evil 4, the Quest VR version? Did that already no, come out? No, 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 the remake. I'm not playing oh, none of that Facebook meta crap. <laughs> I think I'm excited for that, though I've never played the original, so it's like a new experience, okay. I guess. But I was okay. excited a bit for Portal RTX, because it's essentially a remastering, retexturing of the game. They so nice. they run it through like some interesting NVIDIA filter, and they make the game look jaw-dropping. Yeah, Portal RTX. I played some of it. It, it I played it on the 4090, and it, it runs well. But then again, that's also really the most high-end card you can buy from them, so it better run well. Oh, you actually got a 4090? That's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I had to, like, uh, give up a kidney for it, but you oh. know, I think the trade was pretty well worth it, right? Like, at the end of the day. I'm still uh, using the low-tier, awful 3090. You know, pathetic graphics card and everything. Loser. Jesus Christ. I mean, how, do you, yeah. how do you, like, how do you play, like, solitaire on that, dude? How do you like, sleep at night? Frames? Yeah. The fans just, like, how, just how do you look actually that's that's really goddamn true because I had a thirty ninety and I ran like cyberpunk on it, you could just hear the fans like fucking try to like not kill the card. Trying to take yeah. that thing take uh, make the thing take off like a VTOL. Well this thing I is so playing. huge that like this 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 forty ninety looks like a VTOL, so it doesn't even sound like that. They traded off the, the, the efficiency for just the size. I have a forty ninety as well, it's ridiculous how large it is. Yeah. Nice. It's a big chungus. Like a triple slot card or a four slot card? Um, brother, let me tell you right now. Okay, uh, this card, like... It's the whole thing. It's a whole piece yeah. of shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it, it sits next to the computer. Yeah, it's, it's a like, solid... Buy. It's a solid... <laughs> it's as tall as my hand, easily. Oh, damn. Like, right yeah. here. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah, for real. It's it's a it's a huge it's a it's a huge behemoth. I remember when I when I did get it because like I, I had my brother go out and buy it when I was out in California, and I came home and I unboxed it. I was like, bro, Linus wasn't lying. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> well, to be fair, Linus is a bit of a short man. We don't know the actual scaling of it to him. There wasn't a banana for scale. How tall is Linus? I want to guess five six. Really, Linus I think he's five nine. The average eight. YouTuber height. Right. He's five six. Yeah, weird. Five six. He's five six. Okay. That was an accurate guess. I didn't even know. I was just kind of lying. No way. Did you just truth. Google Amazing. that? Anybody, anybody could put in false information for that. Come on. He's now. much shorter than Marquez Brownlee. Okay. Yeah. He's kind of like the PewDiePie of the tech world. Sure. That's, I mean, that's an interesting is, way to put it. Sure. <laughs> Bro, it says I'm 5'6". I just looked it up. That's not true. Why? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually 5'6". How are you? 5'10". Right. And growing. Oh, I was very close. Oh, you're gross. All these ears. <laughs> this is I'm 5'8 online. <laughs> Wait, how old am I? How tall is... How old and how tall? Actually, this is a great f***ing piece. Why does it think I'm 5'8? I'm not 5'8. I'm 5 feet and 7 inches. What the f*** you <laughs> 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 You're 6 foot 2. <laughs> Bro, uh, the internet just stunts every YouTuber. It's like, you're like 6'3, six, 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 Muda? Me? I'm 6'3, six, 6'3, three, uh. six, three, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I well, yeah, yeah, well, well, I'm not definitely not five feet seven inches. No, I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's the thing like when you're when you're like on the chair on the internet, people get some weird perception, and it's like, no, I'm not actually that like short, guys. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, dude, I live in literal Silent Hill, dude. I woke up this morning and I looked outside. I was like, damn, dude, there's like, you guys ever play that game Persona Four? Like, no. You guys ever heard of that? Like, yeah, I never played it. No. It's like every time it fogs it, like this. It. Every time it fogs like this, somebody like ends up dead inside. So I would oh. look outside. I'm like, God damn, dude, this is just like, I live in actual like purgatory hell. You get scared uh, of the fog? Are you like like a small animal? Are you afraid of like inclement weather? I love, I love the it. fog and I love the rain. Like I, I love driving are... both. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh dude, hell yeah. I love ripping the car down in the fog, dude. That's, like, that's playing with fucking fire. Oh yeah, dude. Because the roads are slick, <laughs> yeah. anyways, and you can't see. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you get the you get the best of both dangers, you know. All you mm -hmm. need is a little bit of snow tossed in on the ground too, just like mm -hmm. seal the deal. Mm -hmm. 
That's the thing that you don't get out in the South, though. Like, when I was down there, I was like, dude, I really wished it rained once in Texas, yeah. and it did not. It not does at not all. Rain. Has it rained? Oh, it rained in... for, like, ten minutes, and then it went away. Yeah, the other day, it looked like dark skies. Uh, yesterday oh, yeah. morning, it looked like it was about to rain, and then... No. Uh, and it didn't. It didn't. It was also, like, 75 degrees. It was amazing. It was so how weird. you guys have to... Mm -hmm. So, uh, how are you guys dealing with the YouTube, uh, the, the cursing filter? <laughs> <laughs> Has it been you out or something? Yeah, I got a couple of videos age restricted. I have a lot of old uh, videos that just got hit. Not on my main yeah. channel, but my other podcast channel. It's just like, oh, demonetized, and it's like, the first thirty seconds has no cussing. Where they where they get that from? What's happening here? I don't know how they gauge it. Like they must they must be like making shit up in their head or something. Like, cause yeah. ain't, ain't no way. Did, did you see YouTube? Like, <laughs> they want everyone to sign this thing that they get charged back if you have videos age restricted. Did you see that? What? Yeah. Yeah, what? it's, it's just in, like, what bro, can we do in about their it? new their new terms of service thing that every creator has to sign, and if you don't sign this, year, they're kicking you out of the park partner program in like June or July, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and it says one of the like terms in that new rule is that if you get a video like age restricted, they could charge you back on the money you've made on that video before it got age restricted. Oh. That's fucking dumb, dude. That's not just dumb. That's terrifying. You can get a video with 5 million views, okay? And then they decide one day to age restrict and they charge you back, you know, 30 grand or however much you made on the video. Hopefully, hopefully it's just like a, like, fine. Because just because stuff's, you know, in, we all know this, in contracts, just because something's in a contract doesn't mean that it's going to be enforced. Oh, obviously. 100%. So, yeah. maybe, 100%. Maybe it's just like a potential, like, if you purposefully mislead and purposefully you know completely mm. just f over youtube completely and then like have some racist message or something in the video that's clearly against terms of service but it's hidden it's like some kind of like we said earlier dog whistle uh then it's like an extreme yeah. case in which they can take legal action to, I, I, uh, yeah because i i thought it was more relegated to like if somebody did like a pewdiepie like um fiverr incident again like mm -hmm. where they just had something placed in the video and like maybe the youtube ai didn't pick it up until like a human person looked at it like right few months down the road and it's like oh shit this makes us look real bad exactly it's something yeah. that's like damaging to the platform i don't think they would ever like if i make a mm -hmm. video with memes in it and they just age restricted i don't think they're gonna be like give us the money back no, yeah I, I, look realistically i don't know how much it'll be enforced but it's terrifying that they could just decide to do that yeah yeah, I, I really do think, like, the whole competitor for YouTube needs to actually be, like, a solid thing, you know? Like, I really do believe that there needs to be, like, some competitive group out there just because, like, they can keep these TOSs in check. This is, like, what happens when you literally don't have competition in a yeah. field, right? Yeah. Like, as much as you want to say, like, yeah, go to, like, websites like Rumble or BitChute, and I'm like, have you ever actually seen, like, what's on the homepage for those websites? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know if I want to be on those websites. I want to look at Rumble. I don't think I've ever looked at either one. Let's look at Rumble. I'm a rumbler, um, dude. I'm a rumbler. Well, I, look, I looked at BitChute, and I saw BitChute was immediately like f***ing just conspiracy theories of like the wildest <laughs> shit you oh, could right. ever find. Right Last now. Roman map has Atlantis. Interesting. <laughs> Mike Lindell is live right now on Rumble. Whoa. Who's that? G G Whoa. The My Pillow guy. You know, oh, the, that's uh, that guy. Uh, if oh. you don't know who he is, the, he smoked crack from the Gamer from Mars thing. <laughs> like and everything. That's that guy. Maybe he'll That's give it a go again on the live stream, you know, for old time's sake. Uh, well, I, I found, I, I, here's the top, like, live streams that are going on on, on Rumble, okay? So get ready. Mm -hmm. We've got live prayer for you. Pretty wholesome, all right? Okay. 14 people watching. Mm -hmm. And then you've got InfoWars 24-7, so. Dude, I just opened it up. I have Red Pill Radio Live with 17,000 views and 13 <laughs> people watching. Live. It's on the homepage. Oh, man. Oh, no. That is, Red that Pill is Radio insane. Live. Can we, be, can, we, can we, by the way, say congratulations to our friend Aiden Ross? For being one got, of the lucky have, five people yeah. to, to... Aiden Ross just got put on the fifth visitor slot for Andrew Tate. Visits. Dude. <laughs> for Andrew Tate. For Andrew Tate. I had that. I had that said to me like the other day before I flew out. Like just. In, I, I was like on YouTube and the algorithm blessed me like the shorts algorithm it's like Aiden Ross was sniffing like Andrew Tate's chair and I didn't even believe it at first like I thought it was a deep thing but he's just like sitting there and Tate walks away and he just goes into the chair and just like does this like he loud ass cool five minutes he's like mm -hmm. come back okay yeah Dude, my, like, my oh. favorite thing that I've seen from Aiden Ross recently is he uh, he looks up on stream the definition of fascism, and he's like, 
I don't know what this is. Fascism. Uh, Dude, I've <laughs> never seen. I've never seen somebody butcher the word nationalist as hard as I've seen Aiden. <laughs> it's un. <laughs> That's the clip I was talking about. He couldn't read nationation. Na nationalist. My dad, my dad, unironically did the funniest shit when he when I showed him that clip too. Like he's like he was in my house at the time, and I had like I was watching YouTube on TV down in the living room, and like my dad, he's like looking at it, and he just says it. He's like, he's from Florida, ain't he? I'm like, no way. And then I Google up Aiden Ross. I'm like, oh shit, he is from Florida. I'm like, stop, Dad. Why would you just say it? I, I don't know. Aiden Ross is like the weirdest dude to me because it's like I. I, I feel like there's so many people that baby him, like in the in the YouTube Twitch community. It's like, oh, you made you made a bad like uh, decision, Aiden. He's not a child, all right. Like, come yeah. on now. At some point, you cannot be this. How old like, is he? Twenty. I, I, I want to say he's like. It's 20, impressive. He was on a stream with I Show Speed uh, a little he's bit a little ago guy. recently, and um, like an a million. He said, you got an a million dollar dono, an a million dollar dono. And Speed freaks out and he looks and it's like, you know, a million like hublas from some other kids. Yeah. It's like a $30 dono. It's like one million Zimbabwe dollars. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they don't even have any idea. Yeah, this no, dude I, thinks I, he's I, a lot richer than he is. Breaking news, Manscaped is selling beard products, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, making the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, where anybody can get their signature look and make sure the drapes finally match the carpet. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's time to tame your mane. Nobody likes a weird beard. I know I got one. So say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Pro Beard Kit. It all starts with the Beard Hedger, which is a juggernaut of fixing anybody's face. It's a cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel, which gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. And it's waterproof, so you can shave in the shower and avoid all of that hair in the sink. It's also got a titanium coated T-blade, which is tough on hair, but smooth on your face, leading to a single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. And the Pro Kit does doesn't even just end there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -uh. They've created four dermatologist tested formulations for your post trim care. We're talking about beard shampoos and conditioners. You need to remember that all your hair is different, ladies and gentlemen. The beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. That's why the kid has made shampoo and conditioner specifically to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, and replace natural oils, and of course, promote the health of that delicious beard. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pro Beard Kit also comes with three free gifts, the beard brush, the comb, and scissors to ensure that your beard will always be ready to impress. Job interviews, at night, when you're getting lucky, you name it, it's there for you. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code SOP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. Let's get back to the podcast. Well, I, uh, think, what Go was ahead. it? Um, the average salary in America was $100,000 a year. And I was yeah, like, no, that was another one that he said. Dude, dude, when I heard that, I was I just like sitting too. there. I'm like, I'm like, oh man, there's no way he actually believes people make like six. Like that's the average, because like, oh, here's the act oh, man. Oh, just in act time. Man! Well, the act yo. man. I have invaded. Yeah. What's up? No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Kelly. You joined in just just right after we should talk to you. Oh, but, uh, perfect, beautiful. Yeah, I'm yeah, here. Well, uh, while you joined in, we want to ask you, Ackman, what do you think the average salary of an American is? Oh, I, right saw, I saw a viral clip of this. <laughs> the average salary? I'm not falling into this trap. I'm not, that, I'm, not, I'm not so rich that I'll give you a dumbass answer. Yo, Ackman, name ten books. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Green eggs and ham. Uh, uh, one fish, two fish. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think uh, 60000 For the average person? Yes, I don't. I haven't seen anything about that, this. Wait, that seems pretty reasonable. I, yeah, that seems is reasonable. Is it a household yeah. like fifty I grand? Like, I think it's fifty-five thousand for a household. Though. For oh, a household, household. for a household, yeah. not for an individual. Oh, oh, oh. I'm yeah. pretty sure an individual is like third twenty. Yeah, it's can't, there's no way it's yeah. probably around thirty thousand then. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I, I'm pretty sure usuals like for a, for a household is like usually people end up making like a hundred grand yeah. after twenty years. Uh, being together like two people make 50 grand a year. Oh, yeah Some of those yeah. articles where it was like this 28 year old man paid off all of his student debt and now owns a house You read it. He stayed in his grandparents mansion for like 
a whole summer for like five years straight. Yeah. And you got a loan of five hundred thousand dollars. It's like, yeah. damn. Good job. American dream. He did it. Yeah, dude. He's against like, all odds. Yeah. yeah, I mean, do you know how hard it is to live in Grandpa's mansion? Come on now, dude. Like he's got to walk. He's got to so walk a old. mile from the bathroom to the kitchen. Jesus Christ, dude! It like, stinks. Oh, like old people. I have to cut his hedge maze. Yeah, like he's got to get into the fucking golf cart in the in the house's garage to drive all the way to the pool. Like what the f dude? You know how hard and taxing that is. Jesus. So uh, Ackman, are you getting shit on for the uh, Hogwarts Legacy? I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off right now. Like, what, what is <laughs> going on here, the... dude? Yeah. You know, you guys all know. You get shit on for everything on the internet. It's uh, like you yep. could be the best person, and people are yeah. gonna shit on you. And Jesus could have an account right now. Verified yeah, Jesus could have an account yellow, right yellow now. Jesus will come back destroyed. and get canceled for not coming mm -hmm. back sooner. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, and then he'll pull out that uh, that tweet where it's like, I swear mm -hmm. you could say you like uh, waffles and someone will come along and say you hate pancakes. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. The Twitter is the one place where they can take one statement and just extrapolate it into like a million things. Nah, I, yeah. uh, I feel like most people are understanding what I'm saying. And like the mm -hmm. distinction between uh, guilt by association, you know what I mean? Because if yeah. if we're talking like, if we're talking like, okay, this single purchase, uh, if you make it, it says something about your morals and ethics. Well, shit, I got, I got a lot of stuff to go through. I hope my blender yeah. wasn't made by a racist. What well, is that going like to say the, about me? Yeah. It's like one of the things that I've seen the activism on too. It's like even on Twitter, I'm like, if you got a, if you got a sign, like I would tell you, the worst offender right now in terms of like, I guess you could say the trans community is probably Elon in terms of how he treats like Twitter and like platforms certain people and like pushes mm -hmm. certain dog whistles. That's probably the first place you want to get off too, right? Um, and it's a lot easier to cut a social network out of your life than like I would say, you know, a piece of computing technology that is pretty much a requirement in modern living, right? Like what? Um, what is the drama with the Hogwarts thing? I was looking at the game this morning. It looked pretty good. All right, so so in a nutshell, Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy is uh, owned by the Harry Potter IP, which was written by J.K. Mm. Rowling, who had transphobic tweets in the past and okay. anti-Semitic yeah. stuff and, and all that fun yeah, jazz. So therefore, so through therefore, the process of guilt by association, if you are excited for this game... Or you are you are trying to buy it, or are looking forward to it, then mm -hmm. you share her same values. What now, about all the people to, that made it, though? <laughs> well, yeah. okay. So here's the here's the <laughs> well, thing, right? I guess, I guess, I guess we didn't think about it. They've been working people. on the game. Yeah. Sucks because it's like a triple A game. Yeah, they've been yeah. working on it for yeah. like five to six years. Mm -hmm. So yeah. imagine being like four years in, that and then JK sucks. makes those tweets. She's like. <laughs> well, like, the, the thing about it, the, the thing about it is like, so when it comes to um, like the game, I think one of the big focal points is J.K. Rowling is incredibly smart with royalties, um, where like literally you could have Harry Potter like flashlights and you'd still find her profiting off of it somehow, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure she profits off the fan fiction. Who knows? Um, Harry Potter diapers, <laughs> you get it. Um, <laughs> so, like, obviously she's going to make money off of the game, right? Now, if it sells well, she's so rich to the point... I made this, like, point, too. I'm like, she's so rich and well off that even if she makes $100 million off of this game's royalties, which would be insane, um, that's still a rounding error for her level of wealth, right? So, mm. canceling a billionaire is like canceling a maglev bullet train with, like, your two hands and like trying to cast like yeah. fucking Rosengars at it okay it's just not it's not necessarily happening what I find weird yeah. is I, I know Ackman was having a lot of fun on Twitter comparing it to things <laughs> like how your phone was made by child labor in China and how yeah. uh, you know Blizzard has people that are committing you know different yeah. forms of sexual felonies and you're still playing Overwatch and you know like the story can keep going the amount of actors in popular shows that have gotten cancelled over the years, like you're not gonna watch those TV shows because the actor is now canceled. Yeah, like, it, it doesn't doesn't make any sense. She also wrote a story. It's like not even a it's not even a fully like she didn't just invent it. It's not like her insane genius idea. It's like common tropes. It's not even in that unique. It's just like an interesting world. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, so that I feel said, like it's a good story. That said, though, like uh, like I totally understand this point of view. Just you know, to play almost devil's advocate in this scenario, what about streaming the game? If you want to play the game on your own time, you want to have fun, you want to support, whatever, your business. But when, once you're streaming the game, you're already promoting it. You're profiting off of it. I think that's that's the big argument that I see a lot of people making. Not that you shouldn't play the game. I just don't but... even understand, I guess. 
No, I, mm-hmm. I'm a little disconnected from it also. I don't it's get like, it. um, yeah, I think it's just like it, it just seems really tiring to go through every aspect of your life and make sure it, like any and all amounts of your money mm-hmm. are going to something that you can like morally back the people who create it like i don't know who made my fucking camera they could they could have been homophobes they could have sexually assaulted someone i don't know maybe I'm not it's gonna how look involved into it. jk is like if they called it jk's hogwarts legacy and she had yeah. interviews where it's like i was part of every single process every little detail yeah. i was there going to prove that prove that prove that so maybe with that it'd be like okay she had a lot more involvement from that for hogwarts yeah, legacy they-, they told her to leave i see what you're saying if it was like hideo kojima or something like that yeah. and like yeah. his yeah. games that would be different, I feel like. Yeah, also, yeah. Like I don't even... To it. Like, she probably just signed the thing and then moved on. That's yeah. probably what it is. I mean, have you seen the PlayStation 1 Harry Potter games? It's like... Love it. Whoa, you oh, approve you, that, bro, JK? You know she, bro, you know she was involved in that. Come on. Right? <laughs> I mean, she was, no like, it's, it's a known thing. Now, Walt yeah. Disney was, like, a huge anti-Semite, right? Yeah. And everyone watches Disney movies. Wait, he I is? Love them. I'm just finding out right now. I'm just finding out right now. Yeah, no way, dude. You tell me that wholesome Walt Disney hated me. Really? Come on now. What the That's f- crazy. <laughs> Everyone was nice back in the 30s. Oh, I remember yeah. the first thing. That, that was like the first thing I heard about Walt Disney, too. Like, just... That was before they invented racism and anti Semitism. Yeah. He was the guy who did it. I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, the first two things I heard of Walt Disney was that he was uh, an anti Semite and that they froze his head in carbonite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna play it. I think I just, it looks fun. I, I, I think if you want to, you have switch. to. You have to pick a side. Wait, wait I just wait, don't. I just I don't know. I feel like. No, I'm kidding. I feel like you my don't side's have obvious. To. I just don't yeah. care about J.K. Rowling. I don't. You're gonna stop watching Rick and Morty because Justin Roiling got canceled. I don't even watch Rick and Morty. Period. I think that show <gasps> fucking sucks. But hey, let's go. Back and smarty. Back and smarty. That's so sad. Did you see those tweets, by the way? <laughs> wait, no. Which one? The J.K. Rowling. The uh, Justin, Justin Roiland. Roiland. Their names are similar. The Justin yeah. Roiland tweets. They have the sure. same name. Look <laughs> <laughs> at JK as Justin Carolin. Carolin. Wait, what, what, what did Justin Roiland say? Like, what was, um, like, what the was messages the messages he DMs? sent that one girl? The messages he sent that one girl. <laughs> so, I saw that shit. That it's so crazy. Shit. He yeah, literally that, is like. like oh. He's like Morty in real life. In Rick, in real life, <laughs> he the way he tweets to underage girls. <laughs> What? Wait, she was underage? No, I did not see that. No, I didn't okay. know she was Wait, before, before that goes out, make sure, let's verify, hold on. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure he's a 16-year-old. He specifically mentioned her being jailbait, and hopefully yeah, exactly. the FBI isn't watching, and it was like, yeah, like oh, this is he, the most yeah. He asked, guilty. does the FBI follow, follow you around arresting everyone you Yeah, that one. You just did the mind of Morty. Morty, stop. Stop the FBI watching, Morty. No, why would he do this? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It, like, wasn't that bad, Mm -hmm. and then now it's way... And that was also in, like, 2015, 2014, a long time ago when he was, like, when Rick and Morty was just first f***ing blowing up. Oh, I was thinking about a different DM. Those are probably way more. Are they probably real? That are so bad. Are they? (laughs) Dude. Oh, yeah, sorry, at the airport. It's insane in the membrane. What time is there? Is it there now? Oh, yeah, so, 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 rate. I'm so rate, and me so Chinese. Oh, school tomorrow? Oh, no. You should just run away from home and go into... Really, you stupid f***ing... What? That's well, okay. the tweet that I was reading. I don't that, know if it's real that, or like, not. You, like, so you redlined be... the car right there. Like, that's, like, yeah. 2,000 2, RPM all the way to, like, bitch, it's registering off. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> uh, I don't know. And Miso Chinese all in one, dude. That's can impressive. I, can I read I don't one? Know. Yeah, go, so go, like, go, yeah, go ahead. It's like, where's the okay. line drawn? It's like, all right, you're okay with one thing, but now he's racist. Oh, okay, okay. That's over the place. Yeah. Like, that's the thing that brought you yeah, over the line, I not the other thing. No, no, I'm not okay with any of that. Like, <laughs> he, he already lost me on too everything. Far, dude. Yeah, he started me. Yeah. Okay, to be fair, like, the Miso Chinese already had me, like, questioning things. Dude, then this... he started mentioning this. We're going to be like, all right, okay, now we're, now yeah, we're involved. Weird, with dude, all he sent the message things. saying, are you going to get Morty tattooed on your licking your nipple? If not you, then who? It's worse that he <laughs> thought that would work. Dude. Like, she's going to go, oh. It's like, oh, damn. Is he just <laughs> drunk, maybe? Yeah, he's yeah. Did you see he's the one tweeting? where he says, uh, "Can you write a song about nine of different sized and ethnic origins <laughs> hanging above your face, and then in the lyrics describe how they each splatter you with?" <laughs> but important, the larger message of the song is about how we are all the same and no more racism. 
That's you think, all. You think he's uplifting message, okay? Yeah. He Such changed. a Rick and Morty thing. You think he sent these messages thinking, oh, if I delete it off my phone, it's going to get deleted off her, so... Uh, yeah, like, probably. What the probably. <laughs> no. I, uh, as... I wouldn't even send that to a burner phone that I own just because I'm so yeah, that scared. That is so to insane. Get out. To just, I can never imagine thinking that's fine to say. Yeah, like, you, might like, you write it. that... But well, like, no, you put it out there, think it. like, to the, type yeah, it out, I mean, and then hit the send button. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of steps that have to go through. It's like, I don't, I don't know. That's I don't know. A, I, don't, I wonder if he asked, weird. like, if he was with a friend at the bar going, real? like, is this okay? And the I'm friend's just... like, yeah. yeah are, are they, they real? real? We need to figure out if they're real. I, I, look, I'm scrolling yeah. through uh, just on Google Images, tons of leaked DMs. Here they have one saying they should focus on changing the age of consent laws. Like, dude, what? No. I think it becomes the point of it's so stupid that yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, again, trying to pr prove some of these is a little bit... Yeah, there's a lot. Dude, there's so many. There are so DMs. many! Dude, Jesus. What? I, I like, just looked up Sorry the situation. Sorry to open the rabbit hole, the Justin Roiland rabbit hole. Yeah, this is like... this is. Mort Morty. I, so I didn't really, I, I just, I knew about his, like, domestic batteries, though, because this was happening during the weekend, right? So I wasn't really connected to anything. Yeah, I saw that, and, too. Uh, yeah, so I just knew that, oh, there was, like, a domestic situation. I didn't know there was, like, all these in alleged DMs to go through. Like, yeah, a lot is, of it's alleged. Uh, yeah, alleged, Some of the people sure. who worked with him have spoken out about some of the weird things he'd sent to them, but they didn't go into too much detail. But it's, like, uh, it's a bit hard to defend that. But also the... He was on like some sort of podcast, and he said a bunch of weird things within it. I'm trying to think, trying to find where it was. I mean, he made Rick and Morty. He's definitely not a normal dude. Justin Roiland and Ryan Ridley's podcast. Yeah, that's where they talked about some awful things. Oh my god, there has to be some sort of tally for how many people collabed with H3H3 that ended up getting canceled. Right, mm. I know that Andrew Callahan guy got hit. Channel Five News. Yeah. Um, I, I keep didn't getting even know, HBO like, Max ads that? with him. I'm like, skip. Nah. Not even a few. Well, I, I, uh, yeah, like, I looked at the Andrew Callahan stuff, and it was just like, again, it's another situation of, like, why? Like, why do you, why is it that, like, this, I, I don't know, man, like, maybe it's super easy for me to wake up, like, again, I don't want to sound like, so, like, okay, <laughs> the easiest part about YouTube, and, 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 and like, I love this speech, the, this is the okay, legendary Buddhist speech. The easiest part about YouTube, okay, is to wake up every day, and, like, I never have this urge of, like, talking to minors or like getting involved with somebody you know what i mean like it's not like some insane urge that i'm fighting off every day like and i'm just laying in bed like game coming it's not like i don't understand how people get into this scenario you know like how are you messaging these women and like and then you get involved with kids and shit like how what the f the easiest part of this whole career path is, is not just messaging not... children yeah exactly right like it's just so easy like what a thought yeah, like, you know the hardest part of my day is like, oh man, let's go look through all these, like, videos and make sure that I'm not saying anything that could trip the age restriction filter. Never once am I sitting there, I'm like, let me make sure none of these DMs ever get leaked out. Like, <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> like, it's such insanity, dude. Like, I just don't even, I don't understand it. Like, I don't get how, like, these people, and, and the thing is, like, it, to me it's weird, because it's like, you send these messages, and you go with the expectation mentally that it's never going to get leaked. Like, you have no idea. Like, it's, once you've let, once you've, like, sent that out, it's like, it, it's literally just, you've given somebody ammunition that they can use against you for the right reasons in the future anyways, right? It's like, no, even if I had a platform, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say those types yeah. of things. Yeah, 100%. But being a YouTuber, yeah. it's like every DM that you ever send anyone, you always have to, like, think in your head, okay, all right, if this person at some point betrays me, will this be <laughs> ammo for them? Like, you know, yeah. every time you message someone... Like, well, how do people just... I mean, like, God. you kind of have to walk in with that paranoia. Like, if you're in any YouTube community, like, bro, I, I mean, I've seen... I have, like, um, I've been in, like, Sonic Discord creator communities. I don't even know mm -hmm. why. Don't ask me how I ever got into it. <laughs> but uh, I've been in some of those communities. and like, bro, the amount of... Bat like, it's like... It's like fucking Game of Thrones <laughs> up in that shit, dude. They're <laughs> waiting for the right moment to fuck over one other creator. Game of Thrones in the Sonic creator yeah. Discord. <laughs> Dude, it's like, either they're talking about the algorithms, or they're, like, silently plotting how to, like, you can destroy one of the other creators. It's like, okay, this is really nice. I mean, I, that's what I expected out of the Sonic creator community. Not that I expected, like, some rationality or, like, normality in there, like, Christ almighty. But, uh, mm -hmm. that's... 
I don't know, dude. The, the, the YouTube side of things, it's just I see creators like that. I'm like, I just don't understand how it goes. I, I saw one of the H3 clips like last night where he was saying like if you're a rich and powerful person, just, you know, don't get involved and don't do these one night stands. And I'm like, maybe I wouldn't say it with like the with great power comes great responsibility, but like just don't get involved, period, in these like one night stands either. Like I kind of do agree mm -hmm. with that. I'm like, just don't. Why would you even open it? What like, I don't get into the power dynamics, okay? Like the power dynamic argument weirds me out because it's like you're taking the autonomy away from women to make their own choices, right? Like, yeah, there's always going to be like a level of like power dynamic where it becomes like an unhealthy power dynamic is like when you bring things like money, right? And the partner is being the more dominant partner is actually being financially mm -hmm. abusive. I've seen this, right? Like where guys literally will. Uh, starve their partner out of like meeting other people or like you know they'll be the ones financing the whole like household and then like that in a way mm -hmm. they can they can start the path of like taking away some autonomy right yeah but obviously you might have one partner that's just like a little bit more richer than the other that alone isn't in my opinion a power dynamic it just it's one of those facts that can happen right as long as it's not being used in an abusive manner which I think most people can figure it out clearly mm -hmm. if it is I think that that's usually fine, right? Like, it's going to happen. These are things that kick in. As long as both parties are consenting, mature, and they understand how things are going to go, and as long as nobody's getting misled or let on, I, th I don't think it's supposed to be this big of an issue, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's, yeah. it's different for me. Yeah, I don't get the power dynamic thing, because, I mean, what's going to happen if, like, I meet a girl and she's like, oh, yeah, I've seen your channel. It's like, oh, f can't date now. All right, peace. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I did match with someone, right? This is like way long mm -hmm. ago. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is going pretty well. And she said, are you deaf, Pino? And I was like, I can't do this unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? You unmatched yeah. her? Yeah. yeah I that, said, I'm sorry. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's another thing. Like if the girl is like mentioning your videos, I'm like. <laughs> it was like, yeah. no. It's like, I, just, I don't know. I just say I do video production work and they go, oh, yeah. all right. And yeah, this kind of goes away. Yeah, I just, I just tell them I live with my parents, dude. That usually works pretty well. Like. <laughs> And no questions asked. I already think I'm a loser. It's only up from here, my man. If you can make them love you there, it's only impressing streets down there. Come on now. No, it's, uh, I, I don't know. Like, But then again, like, I'm glad because I don't really do the one night stands or f around. Like, it's just not even in, like, the nature. So it's like, I don't have to worry about that aspect of, like, mm. the world. Like, tons of, I feel like the problem is, like, tons of guys who get into the situation who probably were socially awkward, but now they have a little bit of power and fame, like, let it go to their f***ing heads. And that's when, like, the abuse truly begins to, right? Like, mm -hmm. they think they can get away with it. There's no respect to the other person that they're getting involved with either. To them, they're just, just like, they're like video game non-player characters. So they don't even f***ing care who they hurt or who they don't. And then this shit blows up in their face. And then you get these stupid non-apologies like, you know, I'm glad you guys are holding me to task. I wish YouTubers would be like, you know what? I hate you guys for even exposing me in the first place. <laughs> like, I could have done so f***ing better in my life if this never came out. You know what I mean? Why haven't like, we seen one like that? Dude, I mean, that Logan Paul made three responses to CoffeeZilla. He could have at least, yeah. at least one of them. He could have gone that approach. Yeah, yeah. I like, I would have... I would have so much respect for somebody to be honest. Cause let's be real, nobody's sitting there like, oh man, I'm so happy. I'm like f***ing trending for this what reason. What if EDP um, did that? Oh dude, EDP, I'm pretty- He's kind EDP of already done shows, that. Yeah, he showed no remorse, dude. Like, he does not he care. He's coming back too. <laughs> he's been yeah. eating cupcakes. Well, he's got the kidney failure stuff now too. And it's like, it's funny cause like people are like, shouldn't you feel bad? I'm like, why? <laughs> like, why do I feel bad about this guy? <laughs> Like, because you're right, he did come back on TikTok and he was eating the cupcake to show mm -hmm. off to people. Like, I got away with it. I'm like, God damn. Dude, yeah, it's funny. You know, uh, you know those plan, police though. girl memes? Like, the police girl that in Tennessee that had sex with the entire force mm -hmm. and she was married. True? Yeah. Right? And she, yeah, uh, apparently. She's and, like um, a three out of 10. Like, at the same time? <laughs> I, I, yeah, look, I don't know what's in there, was, okay? Anyway, the team the, bonding the, the, at the same time, I'd be <laughs> like, I thought the, the husband would be calm. I was like, whoa, whoa, everyone? I was like, okay. Yeah, okay. so the entire internet's just making fun of her, obviously. And someone said to me, like, don't you, like, feel bad for it? I'm like, no, not really, to be honest. She cheated on her husband with her, the entire force. It's, it's kind of her own fault that the internet's making fun yeah. of her. Yeah. Also, she looks like Judy Hopps from Zootopia, so that doesn't help. See, that's so rude, man. Like, she's, like... Yeah. like no, a she's, lot of people like Judy Hopps. That's, is, yeah, that a, is that a compliment? 
Not okay, a compliment. You know, all right, all right. You, look, you're in the art drama community. I don't even want to touch that. <laughs> nah, no, that's not good. No. <laughs> that is Wait, the, so the what? rabbit. Yeah, the rabbit. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. hops. Oh. Yeah. Oh God! Okay, I see. I see the reason. Well, art drama wise, I want to ask you, uh, Daff. What are your What are your thoughts on artificial intelligence? Is taking your jobs, dude? <laughs> um, artificial intelligence has been used in a lot of Adobe products as is. A lot of the mm -hmm. neural filters, gradients, and even like paint bucket tool stuff has mm -hmm. already used it for the extent. Whether or not we consider AI art is art is just by the definition. The word art itself has human in it. So it's technically, not technically, it's literally just not art. I did see what okay. people were talking about where some artists were suing. Uh, was I can't remember the uh, AI one. I think it was like Mid three Journey. of them. Mid, Mid Journey. Journey. For using their works and gaining money from it. But there's also a separate guy who made a children's book with AI text and AI drawings. It looks terrible. It just looks terrible. And Mid Journey is going to be suing that guy because their clause says, this is for free. For anyone to like have fun with you're not supposed to be making money off of this right so in terms of if i'm afraid of it going away what's most likely going to happen is they're going to start licensing out prompts like say you want to purchase five prompts because maybe you want some header article painting or whatever they're like all right yeah. you can generate five images 50 bucks for them you have the license for that that's probably what's going to happen with ai art stuff not mm -hmm. replacing artists just a service what do yeah. you think, like, game designers, like, game developers, like, I heard, like, uh, I was seeing rumblings of it being in, like, Unreal Engine, so, like, the idea is, like, game developers, instead of, like, paying somebody to make a blacksmith shop, they can just, like, AI generate one real quick and just throw that right into the game. Obviously, it speeds up game development time at the cost of, like, actual people jumping in and, like, you know, doing all these assets by hand. I think if all of the stuff that it's being inspired by is, uh, let's take uh, Ubisoft, which is, I, I'm not sure if they even use it, let's just take an example. So let's say they have an asset library, right? They, have, they own mm -hmm. all the rights and everything, and they're using their assets to be inspired for this new thing. That's essentially right. taking your own work and remaking it. The worst thing I can see about it is if it contrasts with the overall art style of the game. So you might still have to right. tweak things to make it look nice. But the thing about game design, the thing about art is it has to have a place, it has to have a meaning. You can have those procedurally generated roguelike games, but you can't say, oh, we placed this here for a very specific reason, when you're like, no, I just AI generate everything. The computer just yeah. guessed it. I feel like it would just not make any sense. Yeah. It's also yeah. Ubisoft. They don't care about the games that they're making. Let's let's not even pretend True. that they gave a they shit. They seem yeah. basically AI generated yeah. as it is. Dude, they have this one game that's being canceled like seven times in a row. Did you guys see that pirate game, Skull and Bones? Mm -hmm. oh, I heard about no. it. Bro, I they, love pirates. Dude, they've had for that the record, advertised. They're to beat Duke Nukem forever but dude they had it advertised for so long like i remember i saw footage of it years ago and i'm like yo this shit just looks like an um assassin's creed 4 black flag right like the pirate like the the, the mm -hmm. game planet where you just drive the ship around and like blow shit up i was like i thought that's all it was and then it just kept getting delayed i'm like how are they delaying the game they already basically made it's a good game <laughs> like, by the way the black flag's great oh it's an amazing assassin's i love black flag game. ubisoft the french division the co the workers are having a strike yeah and it's like you know, whenever Paris Wait, has a strike, a strike, yes, okay, like like at his, uh, eight hours ago of this recording, it's like damn, oh. they can bring back the guillotine. They only technically oh, okay. stopped using that like, in 1973. Uh, that too. I was uh, I was because uh, I saw this uh, delay happen like uh, about uh, two weeks ago. I didn't know they had a, they had a whole strike right now. Skull and bones. Wait, what is the what is the CEO even I saying? I love pirates, dude. <laughs> Whoa! If you look up skull and bones, you see a. The CEO said the ball is in your court and it's up to them to stop the slump of something. And it's like, yeah. mm. it looks fucking good. Yeah. When it comes to these like Holy game developers, I wish like a lot of these companies weren't so fucking like, I, to be like, I always like, I love game developers a lot. Like I, I know a few on like that I follow on Twitter, a few content creator friends who are active game developers in the industry, mm -hmm. right? Like they work for actual, um, you know, proper companies making actual games. And I'm like, dude, I wish you guys got paid way fucking more, dude. Like, I've seen the code that they write for video games, and I'm like, mm -hmm. dude, this is, like, so much effort, so much thinking, so much, like, mm -hmm. innovation sometimes. Especially, like, if you're making, like, these open-world games. Like, you can't tell me uh, GTA V, for instance, or Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't a massively amazing feat of, like, software engineering. Mm -hmm. When they make this world so immersive and, like, like the simulation so good... 
And it's like they get paid like Jack fucking shit. <laughs> like at the end of the day, it's like, man, I don't even blame you for quitting your job and working in like another boring field just so you can like pay to eat or like do something with your life. Like what the hell? I think in terms of the big right. ups cutting pay, the last time I heard mm -hmm. of that happening was Satoru Iwata. You know, the year of Luigi when yep. the sales slumped hard. He said, mm -hmm. my workers need money. My pay is getting cut 50%. And it's like, you can do that? I never seen anyone that's like, do that. Yeah, that's like yeah, a Japanese a thing. Gene. Like that's like they, those guys take great shame when they screw up, and mm -hmm. they're like over here on our side. They're like, yes, yeah, I'm still getting my extra man shit. I'm just saying, guys. Like, dude, Microsoft laying off like ten thousand people, and they, they were supposed yeah, to buy like Activision about? for seventy billion. Dude. Yeah, yeah. What the I just got blindsided by that this morning. Yeah. I was like, ten thousand. Damn. Yeah, I was working on this like Microsoft like FTC lawsuit, and like every day something new comes in. So I'm like, all right, delay the video. Let's just add this to the pile now. <laughs> so it's like an hour and a half long of just like Oof. their fucking blow up. Because dude, it's like they're buying Activision Blizzard, and it's fun and it's insane because it's like mm -hmm. every time you go on like Reddit or like YouTube, it's like you're always arguing in the gaming community with people that have no concept of like business, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Because they, they always pretend like, hey guys, you know that Sony and Microsoft? They're pretty equal companies. I'm like, in what f***ing world did you equalize the big one, the second largest tech company in the world and Sony? Like, it's a l little bit different on that point. Like, obviously one of them, the one of them cares about their money. The other one doesn't, probably doesn't even know Xbox exists anymore. Like, they're just like, ah, oh, it's one of our holdings. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. What do you guys think about Halo Infinite? Um, dude, you always say, did you mention <laughs> it's this? Fine. It's just depressing. I played it and I was like, he can speed boost now. That's a bit weird. I was waiting for the co op split screen and yeah. it got being destroyed. I'm kind of past It's not it. coming at all now? Not the, not split, the screen. split screen campaign. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, I was going to say the co op's not coming either? I think they you know, I was at, I'm I was so at far Ufie's past house. It, like, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. I was at your house on the weekend, and the saddest shit that I've ever seen was just the stack of Halo Infinite codes that he had sitting under his TV. I love I Halo. Like, oh. bro. I fucking love Halo. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude. You know what? You know what pisses me off? Like, so the Last of Us TV show is really good. Like, yeah. can kick ass apparently, and then the Halo television show is oh, the exact God. opposite. It's like the fucking Velma of like video it is games. So bad. TV the first episode, I was like. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, oh, you got too they started writing something else. Oh, crap. I knew so the Halo show. show was like, was going to be suspect in in the very first scene when it's like a bunch of those people at the table and, the, uh, you know, they're playing poker or whatever. And they start talking about the Spartans. And then like mm -hmm. 20 seconds later, oh, guess who's here? The Spartans. You know, it's, it's like a little suspect timing there. I was like, mm -hmm. well, the creative team were advised to not play the games. And a lot of the people on the show were like, we're just going to do our own thing. And it's like, this is a Halo show. You want to, they have books. They have Halo books. You want to base it off of those, no, maybe? Well, I think they told yeah, everyone Halo, that was okay, making listen. Velma not to watch the original Scooby-Doo and just kind of, here, you need characters with these four names. What's the deal with Velma? Oh, oh Velma, Velma has one seen of those shows where it's... it. Dude, I, I don't fuck. If I see something someone's angry at, I just. <laughs> boobies, like, oh, man, boobies like, retweet. <laughs> boobies, boobies. <laughs> boobies, dude. I'm all about boobies. boobies. Yeah, man, what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are the only person who thinks that way on Twitter. I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> boobies unfollow. Dude, I, Too I, serious. Uh, Not enough. Boobie. I remember like uh, I remember like so the Velma shit came out again the the weekend that I'm out. I thought me and my girlfriend have this thing. It's like anytime we're out for the weekend, like most insane shit oh, will yeah. start happening, right? So it's like all right, cool. So luckily she has HBO Max, and, and thank God I fucking don't. So I was like, all right, let's see what you're funding, honey. Let's open up an HBO Max and look at Velma, bro. I, like, okay, like some people try to be funny. You know what I mean? They actively tried to be anti-funny this time. Like, mm -hmm. this is what like. So right now we live in an era where the culture war is a thing, right? Like people fight over like politicizing everything. Mm -hmm. This is the one thing everyone can agree on. Like, you could be. Mm -hmm. You, you, dude, you could be the most leftist person. You could mm -hmm. be like the most right, and you can get along and be like, yeah, no, I agree. 
Oxygen is a requirement for human living, and Velma is dog shit. You are right. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think it's hilarious oh. that Velma is so bad. There were like theories that it's a psyop. Did you yeah, see I that? I saw that. Now that's funny. Yeah, it's that's a psyop funny. to make leftists, the left look stupid. Right, right. The leftists yeah. are saying that the right wing really made Velma look be so bad to make the left look bad. How, it, what is so bad about it that makes it left wing? How, I don't understand how it's political. Is it no, just it's like, like oh, oh shit? There's a lot okay. of like, so, yeah. there, there's a lot of lines like, well, if I was a rich white dude, I would also murder someone just so I could get away with it. Like, there's lines yeah, like what's that. What's wrong with that? I mean, look, well, Caleb, if you listen. hear that six hundred <laughs> times in twenty minutes. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. true. It's like just every they sentence, have. every okay. sentence, okay. every time. There was a specific line I remember. It was from Velma, where she said she was speaking to Daphne, or was I speak without a filter, like comedians before Me Too. And I was like, all right, Velma, name some. <laughs> name them right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. Family Guy, books, name Velma. them. <laughs> yeah, the, the jokes were very much, like, written by, like, somebody that was terminally, like, signed on to, like, some... Somebody that, like, I, I think it was an AI that generated the dialogue. Chat like, GBT, it can be a human. Chat GBT yeah, is was, what made Velma. Yeah, like, they, said, exactly. they just put into Chat GBT, make a terrible woke yeah. detective story. Whoa, and this is what happened. Yeah. Is I really like the animation and backgrounds. I was oh, like, yeah, really I thought it was going to be rigged. 2D traditional hand drawn everything. And I was like, oh. And they have sequences where she's having like a panic attack. I'm not going to talk about the writing of that scene. And it's like very detailed and overly dramatic. It's like, oh. Dude, she was, getting a, she was getting a panic attack and someone's like, it's not your fault. And she's like, oh, okay, I'm all better now. <laughs> no, no. She was making oh. fun of uh, Norville. And that made her laugh because it's like, you love me? <laughs> yeah, and he's cringe. Like, uh, Hello? You had affection? Lamau? Please. Who would have thought you were so way. hilarious? <laughs> the, 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 the show, like, it's it's written like like chat like you like I, I would say chat GPT could do much more better. It can do so it much So should I more. watch it or not? Yeah. Oh, 100 percent you should watch it, because if I yeah, waste okay. my fucking time, I'm gonna gaslight Is you and waste your fucking time. They make active references. Like yeah. he he looks at the screen and says, "Boy, do I not like drugs?" Yeah, and it's like, yeah, that was, that was the scene. I remember that. Scene. I'm not watching that shit. Bro. What the fuck? You see, like, see, like, this is a thing that's like weird out of writing. You know what I mean? Like, if you watch the original Scooby Doo movie, or, like the live action one, bro, if you it's like Disney writing, right? Like as a kid, I was like, oh, they love eating eggplant burgers. Awesome, they're super cool and everything. And my mom and dad are like, yeah, that dude's a can pot <laughs> like that dude is smoking the devil's lettuce no questions yeah i would have thought they made a joke yeah. Velma said like uh, yeah. this is my backstory long before we all you know solved mysteries in our mm -hmm. van like <laughs> she says that right in the beginning He's like wait what i don't remember that i'm hoping norville turns into shaggy you know like he progressively gets more invested in the mystery and he you know his hair let, gets let down he gets dirty or whatever and he's like oh he's turning into that you know they're evolving into these characters but I don't have Who's faith Norville? for that. No. Norville is Shaggy's, Shaggy's real name. Like, Norville Shaggy. Yeah, that's Rogers. too Rogers. good of an idea oh. for them to do mm -hmm. it. That's too yeah, good. Yeah, honestly, of an idea. that that is way too good of an idea. You know, they were already greenlit for a season two. Okay. Usually, that shows maybe do that already do to make it look like it's so successful. Yeah, because Halo was greenlit this, for season two. This <laughs> show is the most, uh, the most, the, the show that made the most on HBO. The the biggest animated hit on all of HBO, I think. To be fair. They deleted most of their shows. That is fair. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of competition. But the point yeah. is, people are hate watching it, and but people are watching. Well, it. not just hate watching it. There's a vast amount of people on not on Twitter, you know, probably Facebook moms who just go, "Oh, Velma," and then they like it, and they're like, "Oh, my kid, you should watch Velma," and he's like, "No, no, no, mom, and, no, no, mom." I was on TikTok, and they were roasting the. Kind of the, show. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is though people don't hate watch something for very long like yeah. exactly i, I kind of hate watch the halo show but i could only do like three episodes of that man before i just couldn't mm -hmm. i could like i just anymore. give up like this shit yeah. so it's like it's, it's like hate playing a video game too it's like eventually yeah. you're just like yeah after a few hours it's like i'm done like let's shell this for now like well, unless i'm gonna like do a video review and make fun of it and it's really funny then you know i'll mm -hmm. keep hate playing it didn't you do that with pokemon like you we're just like this game sucks ass and yeah. continues yeah, to play the rest did. of the game. <laughs> I'm 
like, I was like, I was about to text you, like, when you were tweeted that out, I'm like, I'll, I'll just break the, I'll, I'll just, like, break the matrix for you right now, bro, that game does not get good. <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> because, I, dude, you gotta, you gotta understand, like, when I was out buying Pokemon, like, Violet, right? Like, mm. I did it, I was like, all right, let's, let's, because I was even planning on doing a video on it, the same video that, like, you were, like, just shitting on it, like, the whole gateway through. And dude, my brother, like, he comes over to visit and he looks at a copy of the game. It's like, why do you do this? Like, why do you, <laughs> why do you like subject yourself to torture? Like, Bro, the what frame the fuck rate in that wrong? game is like, you dude, can see a windmill that runs at two I, frames per second. And it's just like, I, I hate the, I hate the Nintendo community. I, I hate the Switch community so much. I think they're the biggest fucking groups of babies you'll ever find. I think that's just the Pokemon fan base. No, I literally said, I'm like, we need a new Nintendo Switch. Bro, the Switch community comes out and they're like, what about like this one game, Mario Odyssey, look good, Legend of Zelda looks good. I'm like, dude, you shut the f up, okay? Those games also ran at 10 frames a second, okay? I think for something like Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet was released the same year as Arceus, and then a year before they released Brilliant and Diamond Shining Pearl. So they're having such short release dates between the games that they're splitting the dev team so hard. So it's like, as you said, they're working with underpowered hardware. And also they have to shit out these games year after year. And they're like, yeah. can you stop buying them for a bit? We need to like work on this, you know, well, for like three years. It, it's tough mm -hmm. when like you got the Nintendo like, because you, you got to understand, like this is how the game development system really works. And I hate to mm -hmm. put it like bluntly for the people watching. Right now you have passionate game developers working, right? Okay, they're mm -hmm. making a game. They're having a good time. They're, they're thinking of it. A douchebag like me shows up in a three thousand dollars suit, driving my fucking Maserati to the office, and I like walk in. You know, I'm like sniffing my nose. All right, clearly I've done some fucking <laughs> adulterants before I walked in, and I'm like, so guys, we need a new fucking Pokemon game because this Coke money don't pay for itself. Okay, we got some merch lined up. We got to get this game shitting out. And the development team is like, sir, can we have like a few months extra? And I'm like, months? Do you know what the word fiscal quarter means, mother? <laughs> right? I need this shit out tomorrow. <laughs> I don't. It's like, but it's not going to be complete. I don't care. Like, just live service that shit up and sell it. They'll buy it. It's Pokemon, dude. But sir, do you care about the quality? I'm like, no, dude. I don't even care about Nintendo. I'm a, I'm a businessman. Okay. Have you seen the house I live in? You think that you think that came out of passion? Look, no. Way, I need this. The way out. I see it, there's such an obvious logic to it, and it's that yeah. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet sold 10 million copies in their first three days. It broke every Nintendo record. Oh yeah. There's no reason the, for them doing to put absolutely more nothing. There's Point no the reason story. to put more love into it. Like the, that's and, why that's what I'm saying. The business executive the was right. They knew. They keep <laughs> growing, and the games are getting shit. Like objectively <laughs> worse, and they're and they're performing better. Like you could just imagine of the rap party, the same business executive is sitting with the developer at Game Freak, and the Game Freak developer is sad because they made a shitty game, and the guy's like, "Why are you so mad, bro? We broke all the records. Who cares? That's all what it's about." And to be Dude, honest, I, I, hate, I hate to circle back like yeah. this, but this is the same as the like the Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy argument. Do you have any idea how big that game is? It's gonna sell so much more than any of your like puny protests are gonna be. Like, I mean, yeah, no it's offense. Like, it's, it's already the yeah. biggest game on Steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, easily. I mean, you knew it was a losing case. It's really just more promotion for the game. It really yeah. is. <laughs> well, it's like it's like trying to cancel like Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. It's like you're really gonna get rid of the biggest selling game franchise, like because yeah, of a protest. You know what I mean? It's like. I, I can almost guarantee when GTA 6 starts rolling around and like there's a release for it or like some release like the time for release comes out hopefully before I'm collecting you know social security checks um I'm sure there's going to be like a, a protest about it too because you know that game is not going to release without some really f***ed up jokes to war at the cost of like a few communities because GTA is like South Park they're going to shit on everyone and mm -hmm. I can't wait to see some of the some of the anger that comes out of that and like the attempts of like you know trying to get Rockstar Games to think a little bit differently, <laughs> even though they're in the perfect position of not, like, you know, capitulating to any of this. <laughs> yeah, the Hogwarts Legacy thing, you could almost make that same point about the Velma show. It's like, oh, you're watching the show? That means you support it and its creation, and, and you like it, you know? You see, I think the difference is, though, the people that are watching the Velma show are hate-watching, while I think that there is a lot of people that genuinely love the Pokemon games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a, a lot of kids. Most of the people that buy the Pokemon games aren't hate playing it. They're loving it because they love yeah. the franchise. 
They're brainwashed. It's, it's funny because a lot of people are like, the community for Call of Duty is like 12 year olds. The community for Pokemon are 35 year olds. I'm like, <laughs> that just shows me how terminally like online you are. Because every time I go to a fucking EB Games, you know who's buying the fucking copy of Pokemon? Not somebody my. I'm the only person my age walking and buying the game. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to be on the registry for buying this. I, there are so many kids buying this game that when I'm up there with the copy, I like give it on. I'm like, yeah, it's for my nephew. Yeah, it's totally. <laughs> oh, no, you're one of me. those guys. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, oh, I'm just getting this for my nephew, dude. Like, <laughs> Senran Kagura? Yeah, I'm not getting this for myself. It's for my buddy, dude. He's on house arrest, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's not me. It's like, it's like, and then Call of Duty. Like when Call of Duty comes out, it literally is just teenagers and like younger adults. Like if you're buying a copy of the game in stores for fucking God knows what reason, because the disc doesn't even come with any of the content. But the point is, like the people who are buying it, yeah. Like traditionally, these games do target the ages that these executives want to aim for, anyways. Like and 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 for Nux's idea, yeah. If kids are buying Pokemon. They don't have to make it look good. They don't have to make it a good game. It's not like kids are able to identify what is a good video game or not. They just want to see Pikachu and, you know, Thunderbolt like a Rattata or something and call it a day. Yeah, it's like saying that Coco Melon could make better content. You know? They could. They could, you're but right. Why? But at the end of the day, why should they? Exactly. It's like, why? What What are they getting from the adult from fan it? base, the Coco Melon oh. adult fans. Yeah. Yeah. The parents who oh, have to good. watch it, they're like, oh, yeah. animation inconsistency is awful. You guys <laughs> miss the uh, <laughs> Spider Man Elsa? Video. Yeah. yeah, it's back. It's I, back. I miss when it's that back. was the uh, when that was. Uh, it's the back, meta. bro. The Elsa gate is back. <laughs> no way. That's my video tomorrow. I've been researching it all night. Like Elsa gate videos. Are you serious? Dude. They're back to like liver transplants and <laughs> trafficking now, dude. Like, dude, I've been doing it because I've been so angry with like YouTube's like age restriction shit that I'm like, oh wait, okay, I right, wait a minute. So I can't say the word stupid in the first ten seconds of the video, but you can see Elsa commit like. Tax evasion right here for the kiddies on YouTube kids. Like, what the f <laughs> Like, dude, why? I don't know. Kids channels, kids stuff on YouTube is, like, designed by some of the most bankrupt, morally f***ed the people I've ever seen, period. I feel like that stuff is made by an AI. Not an AI. Dude, an AI is not that inhuman. Hell no, dude. Like, there are some people out there that know exactly what they're doing to, like, keep kids engaged. And, like, mm. some of the shit is really weird. Like, if I, if I like, walked by, like, the living room and I saw, like, my, like like younger child like a younger child like on an ipad watching mm. like spider-man crap onto elsa's face I i'm taking the ipad away dude like i'm, I'm scrubbing through the video myself i'm it. like what the yeah i'm like this does not make any sense but i don't know these people have found exactly how to i feel like they hire child psychologists to like exactly find out how to keep kids addicted to like these 20 minute long youtube content pieces i remember i was researching a animated series on YouTube. It's called Teen Z. It's just some... Um, whatever. And so I went on a rabbit hole to find out who they're owned by. And they're apparently owned by the same people of 5 Minute Crafts and all those weird... Here's some tips and tricks of real things you can do and they're like the absolute worst shit you can see possible where it's like, brighten up your furniture. Just paint it. Just paint it whatever color you want with stain. Who cares? Whatever. And I found 50 to 60 channels under the soul publishing publish making this awful seemingly Elsa gate garbage and I was like do you hire actual people for this? They're proud? They're not. Yeah. That's why they don't show their yeah. names. They're like credits, soul publishing. I was like yeah don't put my name yeah. on that. Don't. No, nobody's, nobody's putting their name on that. But it's like, it's like remember when you have the prank channels who are like mm -hmm. they were flexing like a half a million dollar supercars and then like it was H3 that like broke the news where it's like bro these guys are actually the Spider-Man Elsa gate people. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I was like, and then maybe I'm like, what do they explain this job to like the girls they're picking up at like the club or whatever? It's like, what do you do? Oh, God. Like, what would you say your job was, honestly, if you were like, but what if they production. found that they found like the Elsa gate, the Elsa Spider-Man closing the closet? Like, um, what's this? And you're like, oh, yeah. pranks. It's pranks. Just pranks. Yeah, Nothing they, else. They find those costumes and there's fake shit all over them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of them looks at it and it's like, that that lady is $5 million net worth right there. So I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> like, what the hell, dude? No, it's, um, the, the Elsa Gate shit is, is, is super just, I'm surprised, like, how strong it's been going. And it's mm. just like, that is the one, like, people are like, YouTube is difficult. I'm like, no, it's not, dude. Like, 
just fucking dress up like Spider-Man, hire somebody on Fiverr to dress up like Elsa, and just shit on each other, okay? I guarantee you it'll work. It 80, will, you 80 million will make... views guaranteed. Yeah, YouTube is difficult if you have integrity. Oh, dude. 3 a.m. videos? Like, just fucking sell gay potions and Kermit the Frog to people? Easy win. Like, why would you ever need to work? Like, miss me with any of that. Like, there is no... If you if you want to get by on YouTube and succeed, Drew, I have seen th there's actually one channel that like I, I laughed at like years ago. So have you ever heard of Eli So Cray? No. Oh yeah, dude, I love that guy. So to give you guys an effort of like a uh, just a glimpse of his content, he f Siri from like the iPhone, like he banged his digital assistant. As you do, um, he's awesome. At, cool, uh, dude. That's the why they give you all us, the different legends. Mm -hmm. um, he also uh, drowned Peppa Pig. In, in, in a bathtub. So Another legendary moment. Banner. Taking down the British monarchy. That's that's fine. Yeah. Apt, dude, brilliant. <laughs> Another legendary oh. moment. Yeah. So, like, I was a watching it. so he killed his channel completely because he said, I don't really need to make any money anymore. Like, this. He had his whole, like, video where, like, I thought he was memeing with me at first. So I'm like, I'm going to watch mm -hmm. this whole 15-minute video to see if he's with me. He literally in the video is like, you know, these people who made fun of me, I always hated them. But then I realized, bro, I look really stupid drowning Peppa Pig. <laughs> like, I was like, damn, I look really tough. Yeah, that's so the one I video that he made it after nutting. <laughs> like, it was his one video yeah. recorded in the state of post-nut clarity. <laughs> that literally was like a man who's going through, like, post-3 a.m. clarity on YouTube. Like, what he th I think he realized <laughs> Well, now he like, has, like, his girlfriend sit on people's laps and stuff and do pranks, and so he's God. kind of evolved a little bit. Is that is that him now? Huh? Is that is that what he's doing now? Yeah, he says, uh -huh. like, I'm not going to be doing this kind of stuff anymore, guys. I'm changing. I'm a good guy now. Hey, girlfriend, go sit on that guy's lap. Well, at least it's not drowning Peppa Pig, bro. Like, well, you can't do it twice. Yeah. She's already dead, so. Yeah. True. Yeah, he also, yeah, exactly. he can't, like... And summon Chucky, like Chucky e. Cheese from like Child's Play, and like kill him in his house again. Like it's not. I, and you know the only guy who's doing it, surprisingly, the only man left alive doing this content is NNA Productions, dude. He has never <laughs> can change. He still gets views oh, too. Well, yeah, dude, kids, bro, Sonic.exe again for the 900th time? Hell yeah, dude. What just the how hell? How do they not like? How do they not ban this? Like, how does it not just completely? Shadow ban in the algorithm. I think because it's be. usually vaguely inoffensive and no one reports it. No. You know what I mean? So it's just like, oh, I guess people are fine with this video. True, yeah. Moving on. Do yeah. not play Huggy Wuggy at 4 a.m. That's it. I, that's just practical advice. Don't play any game before I am. Go to sleep. No, that's some God bullshit, damn. dude. I'm going to play some Mass Effect. You know, I'm going to play some Mass Effect at 4 a.m. And you know why? Because that's what the f***ing writing team for Halo did. <laughs> they did not play. Dude, that's what made me realize. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is. It, it's not that they didn't play Halo. They were just they were just people that thought Halo was Mass Effect the whole time. That's what yeah, they turned so, Halo yeah. They were like, oh, let's naturally have a sex, <laughs> sex scene and some romance. Yeah. And, Show know. his ass. I love the scene. Like, there was the longest time where I had Master Chief naked on my, like, oh, wallpaper. And my brother would like, walk in and he would look. He's like, What the f is that? I'm like, That's Sierra 117, bro. That's Master Chief. You don't recognize that's, him? Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't recognize He might have some armor removed, but that's him in the flesh right there. Muda, is there any show that you watched recently that wasn't hate watching? No, there's literally no show that I haven't hate watched recently. The part that was the most bothersome to me that made me hate watch yeah. the most was just the, like the trope that they tried to incorporate that's like a new thing where it's mm -hmm. like there's these people fighting in this against this insurmountable enemy, the Covenant, yeah. and instead of trying to save humanity, they, they take out their chips so they feel things again. Like, that doesn't make any... And they try yeah, to find the, their mommy. The, yeah, it's the, so <laughs> fucking stupid. It makes... There's people in real life now that are more mm -hmm. masculine or, or whatever, like, that... T the, the fucking... I don't know if the right word is just masculine, but brave and, like, just... The, the overtly manly thing, like, I don't feel things. Like, there are people in real life... There are Navy SEALs that are more badass than those... The Spartans in the, the fucking Halo TV show. That's it, the whole point of it. It feels like that arc should have been at the end of the story. Like, they take if their anything, chips yeah. out... And then they start yeah. feeling shit. After the war is over, yeah. And they're like, oh my god, I did all these horrible, terrible things. I'm gonna go AWOL. <laughs> exactly! If you also read the Halo shit, you would realize that all their surgeries and enhancements kill their emotions anyways. That's why, like, 
they pair them with like yeah, AI to like yeah, yeah I remember it's not really the emotional suppressing. Halo Three ODST commercials where it's like the uh, what was it, the people training to become Spartans and most like some of them died because they couldn't take the serum, whatever it was, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, Spartan Four program. Yeah, yeah and I was like, damn. Whatever. Yeah, because the Spartan Fours were voluntary. Well, because mm -hmm. they were like genetically enhanced. That's why some of them are like fucking seven feet tall, like full on <laughs> dinosaur <laughs> motherfuckers, because they're like super mm -hmm. genetically enhanced types. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. but then again, that's if you yeah. actually paid attention to fucking Halo <laughs> instead of release this TV show. It's like, that's what, this is the thing. Like, I always thought if you were going to make a sci-fi show, right, make a Mass mm -hmm. Effect show. But do it like, there was this Netflix series, I, I don't know if it was Black Mirror, but it was like you could do like a choose your own adventure. That might have been the better way to do like a lot. Like, if any sci-fi like game can be a TV mm -hmm. show or a movie, it's Mass Effect. Because yeah, Halo doesn't that. have enough emotional input, in my opinion, to like necessarily throw it like into a TV series, you know? Disagree. Because it's, you're just Disagree. playing a game. Well, okay. <laughs> there, there is, there is, but it's like you kind of attributed to more to like. Listen, if you're gonna do shit like Halo, all right, like you got to do it right. Is all I'm saying. There's right? less like, there's room so much for error. Lore. There's much yeah. less room for error. Because you're you're taking a you're taking a series that's like most people attribute it to like oh I'm gonna go in like dual wield SMGs and blow shit up right yeah. so when you have those quiet moments you gotta fucking capitalize on those quiet moments yeah. right yeah like, and the then you're books. like who the f is this Quan yeah. Ha chick you know yeah, yeah. who is fucking Quan Ha who who gives a f for one <laughs> literally nobody that's just a person bro <laughs> who cares um just... they're supposed to be like these crazy superhumans who cares about fucking Qui Gon Jinn or whatever her name was <laughs> like th there's uh there, like there's one in the books have you guys ever read the books or listened to them or whatever no, a no, long true. long time ago i read one yeah. okay well the books are good the books like if you just turned the first three books into a tv show or movie series it would be great like if you just followed it step by step it'd be great it has mm -hmm. every single thing you need to become immersed they're like acclaimed the, the books are good mm -hmm. um and like there's it all starts before the covenant like there's all mm -hmm. this hu there's humanity before the covenant and then the the covenant come and then they it forces everyone to kind of like have to work together so they don't all get destroyed um yeah because like they fight the insurrectionists first and there's all these like there it's just like a, a like a kind of a representation of how the earth is really but in space and then they end it all when the covenant come and like it's just it's crazy like it's it's one of the mm -hmm. it's a really good story to be honest with you guys mm -hmm. bros with my bros here with my bros. it's a really good story <laughs> they should have just started at reach and had like yeah uh, yeah you know build but up not, to not the, not the game reach though the book i think it's Follow like a, the, there's this weird like thing with like the uh the, the television <laughs> film community like the hollywood side where it's like they're more interested in like trying to show like i think it's like this weird elitism where like video games cannot be a medium where you can have stories told and like these Hollywood blockbuster experiences, and it's only relegated to like you know the big screen, like television, movies. And then Bioshock came out. Yeah, and then like the people who are like the showrunners for Halo and the actors and like actresses are like, yeah, f it, we can do it better than these f gamers can. And it's like you kind of forget the idea that nowadays most video games that come out, I would say, have more production values than like some movies. Like mm -hmm. going back to GTA. Five, for instance, is an example, right? Like, if you play the single player for that game, I love it because one of my favorite movies uh, is Heat, right? So this is mm -hmm. a video game adaptation, Somewhere. basically, of that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's like the cutscenes are well-directed, the characters are well-written. Like, I feel there's more immersiveness I have in there because, like, I'm more, like, I have more player agency. I'm driving around. I'm seeing the world for myself. I can mm -hmm. choose to get involved with the lore instead of having the, instead of having the showrunner spoon feed me exactly what they want to yeah. see, right? Like... They don't. Just, yeah, yeah they ahead. just don't know anything about it. Like it's it's yeah. that's the problem. Is it's just like the, the he looks like the Master Chief. Mm -hmm. Good job. That's it. That's the only thing that's like Halo. Do they even know what the tall Spartan was? Samuel zero three four. He's seven foot four. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he died from a, a, a chest wound on a Covenant freighter. Yeah, they, like, know that? they don't know. They're, like they're, like if you compare the show right to like the video games, like there are scenes where like if you play Halo Reach right like. And when George grabs you and throws you off the fucking Corvette Supercruiser, it's like, all right, mm -hmm. go back to go back to like fucking Reach, like finish the fight, dude. Reach isn't canon. Well, re reaches reaches canon. Fuck you. It's not canon. I have never well, seen Caleb game. as like triggered by anything. <laughs> than by, like, I love Halo so much. It's so crazy. No idea. I fucking love Halo. I mean, it's like it's like if you fuck up Metal Gear for me, like I'm gonna fucking know, like I'm gonna like call yeah. out exactly what goes on. Okay, you know, Muda, I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend you a show. 
that you will actually not hate watch, but you'll enjoy watch. He's not going to watch it. Okay. It? Are you ready? Are you ready, Muda? Yeah. Inside yeah. Job. It's an uh, an animated show on Netflix. All right. Is that the Bo Burnham one? I've seen no, it. It's not. Yeah, I've, I've seen it on the I'm Netflix joking. like slide. Yeah, but I'm gonna recommend. That's the thing. It's it it's looks right too up good. your alley. It's right up yeah. your alley. It's about this company that's like a shadow government controlling the world, okay. where all of like the conspiracy theories are real. One of the guys in the main okay. crew is like from Agartha. Okay, like from the Hollow Earth, uh, which is real. Like, like I don't know why you're saying which is which is, yeah, which is real. You okay. know, and um, we've seen it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been. I've seen a UFO covered in Nordic runes. <laughs> yeah, no one just asked me. I actually made it to Area 51. No one talked to me. You, about you Naruto it. ran right yeah. in there. Yeah, everyone's distracted. They couldn't I found catch 3% up. percent milk. They found it. They figured it out. <laughs> you find bag, bags of milk in there? Bags of 3% no, I've, milk? I've, se- I've seen that show. I didn't know it was like about conspiracy theories, which I'll, I'll go see. Like, I, It's been a while since I've not hate watched a show. The last show that I did no. not hate watch was like Squid Game. That's it. Because the only keep, reason keep I the saw that going, was like... Dude, I, say, I just... didn't like Squid Game, though. So. I just watched it. I couldn't understand what they were saying. Yeah, it's all oh, titles. Yeah, that's, it was episode that's four a, when he put the subtitles on. That's a, that's a fucking skill ah, issue, Karen. I just didn't get it. I, I, I guess hate me or whatever. I just, I just didn't get it. That, that was the one, one show my I mom watched it at all. Nice. My, my I still haven't watched either. Show. I watched the first episode. So. Yeah. My mom loved that show because I was like, oh, mm-hmm. mom, you want to watch this like weird show with me? And she's like, she was the first one. She's like, oh, can you make them speak English? And then I put on the English dub. And my mom was like, okay, no, make them go back to Korean. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah. This is weird. weird. Yeah, that dub was not good. Yeah, the English dub was ass. And so my mom was like, yeah, I'll just read the subtitles instead. I just and then didn't she was get like it, man. super engrossed. I tried well, watching it with Granny. I didn't get it. Me and her didn't get it. Oh, Granny! Granny wasn't into the Squid Game. <laughs> yeah, Granny didn't like Squid Game much. <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, I, I gotta. I like I, honestly though, but like hate watching a show is kind of fun though, because like it sometimes. Is. You, like Resident Evil, dude, that was the best hate watch in the world for me because mm-hmm. there was one episode of that show where I was like, man, this is actually good. Like, they're playing with the piano, they're solving the puzzles around the house, and then all the other shit comes in. Like, anytime the show went into the future, I'm like, all right, I guess it's time to go make a sandwich and a fucking, you know, mow the lawn, do something else, I guess, because this whole section sucks. Then I come back to like Resident Evil in the past, and I'm like, man, it's like they literally took the entire story of Resident Evil. The, the shitty story that exists and somehow found a way to make it shittier. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's easy to hate watch something when you don't have a whole lot of emotional investment in it. Like, like they announced the Halo TV show in 2014 and it came out mm-hmm. like, what was it, like yeah. seven or eight years later. Yeah. Bro, Steven Spielberg yeah. was hyping that show yeah. on the Xbox mm-hmm. VCR. I was so excited. I so was I so couldn't, excited. So I can't hate watch it. Be- I mean, I can, but it's like, but it hurts. It physically hurts. It physically hurt me. I was walking around in the second episode like this. <laughs> like pale. <laughs> I could see that. It's like he's pale, just doing just it. Lightheaded. Oh my god. I couldn't believe it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, dude. It was dude, so sad. Do you guys ever have a game you hate? I didn't even finish just, it. Do you guys like hate play any video game? Like, do you guys like this game? Fucking just just blows. I'm gonna no. play through it. No, no, I've never done that. Mm-hmm. Never. I have. Yeah, because oh, like when you're game. watching something, at least you could kind of sit there. You don't have to physically make it progress. Unlike no, I, video I, games. I, I, uh, there's this game. Have you guys ever heard of it called Left Alive? No. Okay. Uh, maybe. Look up gameplay yeah. for Left Alive, all right? Like, just look up gameplay on your own time, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, it is the shittiest game that has ever been made on the PS4. Like, anytime you're, like, sitting over there, like, man, this game sucks. And I'm like, okay, there's Left Alive, boys. That game is way, way Bro, worse. Bro, everyone's it out is... there hate playing Hogwarts Legacy right now. Dude, at least Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy is good. This game was so bad that I hated every single aspect of it with every fiber of my being that I'm like, you know what? There's a game, there's a literal game, to, like, game tester out there that's suffered to pay his f***ing, like, mortgage or rent for this. I'm gonna suffer like that, too. I wanna join the brethren, okay? I wanna see what the hell, like, cause I, I would firmly believe no one made it to the end of this dog shit. And I did. It's got four stars on Amazon, bro. What are you talking about? If left Alive, bro, th- those are some botted four f***ing stars on Amazon, cause this thing doesn't even do- This thing is inverted five stars for me, like, it is absolutely that f***ing bad. Inverted five stars? 
Dude, a, dude, there's nothing <laughs> redeeming about it. There's like, sorry, there's like negative five. So sorry. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's great. A new terrible inverted. story. It only yeah. exists inverted for star. this one game. <laughs> yeah. Five dude, inverted stars. There is no redeeming quality to this. Like, you know, if you can just sit <laughs> there and be like, well, at least, like, you're like, at least the soundtrack was good. No, that's not good because there's no soundtrack. Uh, at least the AI is good. Motherfucker, the AI doesn't exist because it gets bugged more than it does anything. Uh, the graphics are good. Yeah, if you're blind, sure, because you don't see how bad it is. So, yeah, I guess maybe then your only perception is it's neutral or good. Yeah, I'm so looking at the gameplay. This is a PS4 game, not like a PS3 this is a PS remaster. This yeah, is a PS4 like game, PS3. bro. Oh. And it has it has PS4 Pro know. support, too. So don't even <laughs> think the you The show that I hate watched <laughs> recently was uh, Cowboy Bebop, Netflix's Cowboy Bebop. Like, I was... The uh, live action? Oh, the live action. Oh, you yourself in the ass. Yeah, so, like, I was making a video with um, the the live action producer for the live action One Piece that's coming out. So mm -hmm. I made a video with him, and my idea was I was going to show him all the worst scenes from the Cowboy Bebop one and tell him why I don't think he's going to succeed. Um, which uh, was maybe not so nice of me, That's but mean. I thought it was a great idea. <laughs> not so. That's so mean as shit. No, but he actually he's pretty great. Like I, I have faith, sort of. Um, but any, sort of. anyway, uh, so like some of the scenes are so bad. Some like I, I couldn't believe it. Like there's this one scene where uh, some girl walks up to Jet, who's this big black fellow, and says, and um, she she blackmails him, and he says. Are you blackmailing me? And she says, "Well, you're black and a male, so yes." And it's like, oh, it's like you just oh, that's you a just, bigger <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's like, ugh. dude, how can you complain about it? The game sound the, 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 that that is amazing. Like, yeah, like th there were some scenes that were just mind blowingly bad. I don't know, man. Like me, television shows. Like if I honestly at this point, hate watching is the one thing that like gets me. Like <laughs> it keeps you going at this point. Dude, exactly. Just like you put that shit on the side monitor, you work on a project, you look over to the side, and you're like, "God yep. damn, man!" At least, thank God, I wasn't excited. I want to make this, something dude. better than that. Yeah, <laughs> like, like sometimes when a video game comes out that everyone's super excited for, and I'm like, I remember when Cyberpunk was coming out, and like, dude, I, I was sitting back, like, just looking at all the hype on Reddit and like all the internet, and I was like, there's this evil part of me that kicked, and I'm like. Please be a bad fucking game. Please be bad, just so I can see the internet go fucking ape shit. <laughs> and then when it came, dude, I got the game a little earlier before release, right? So I wasn't like a fucking reviewer for that shit. I got to see the final build. And when I fired it up, like, part of me was like, dude, I waited since like 2012 for this game personally. I'm kind of sad. Mm -hmm. But then I looked at it, I'm like, dude, this is going to make the internet so fucking bad. <laughs> like, dude, in like three days when it actually drops oh. and the fucking kitties are going to be... Because I was playing it on the PS5. I'm like... And then I looked over at my PS4 that was boxed. I'm like, oh, man. When little Sammy turns it on on that system and fires this game up, ooh, it's fucking over, bro. Like, this is... It's done. <laughs> I was like, this game runs like shit. This game looked like shit. And of course, it got treated like complete shit. But hopefully, they make a rebound now. Like, they got another big time actor on it, which mm -hmm. um, I always find weird. Like, I don't know about you guys. You guys find it weird when you see, like, big Hollywood actors in your, like, yeah. fucking video game? Yeah, yeah, I love it. You like it? Yeah, they had they had Ron Perlman in uh, Halo 2 and 3. Well, they had Ed Sheeran in Pokemon, so. Yeah. You know. They had Ron Perlman in. Uh, in Fallout as well, the intro, right? Yeah, yeah. War, yeah. war never changes. War yeah. never changes. And also, who else was that? Uh, Norman Reedus was in that walking sim. Was that oh, game? The, the Death Stranding. Stranding. It was Death an Stranding. Amazon. Like it was an Amazon Prime sim, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> that game I love, dude. Like everyone was like, Death Stranding is boring. I'm like, dude, I, I don't know, man. I like delivering the packages. I don't care. <laughs> like it's it's cool at all. Like like people are like that game is a walking simulator i'm like yeah okay what part of the walking simulator involved like otherworldly beings grabbing you and dragging you into hell and shit and like people stealing your packages what the f that's a pretty ex like people who like like uh, like people who like bring it down it's like gta is just a criminal game i'm like yeah let's forget all the other aspects of the game <laughs> that make it different right what's like, your shit. favorite game of all time muda mine yakuza dude 100 yakuza okay that's a oh. solid game what about that you uh Ackman? Hmm. Hmm. Favorite of all you time. Can, I mean, you can think on it for a minute if Overwatch you want. Too. Usually starts at Halo C or Banjo Tooie. Okay. okay. Yeah, mine's definitely Halo C. What about you, Daft? You know? Uh, Mario Mario sixty four. Yeah. That's okay. I got what you get not? into it. Undertale. I'll be cringe. 
Do you actually like Undertale a lot, or are you memeing with us? No, I real? actually do. I, I think it's such okay. a good game. Like, I, I love Fair. it so okay. much. I like I like the battle mechanics in it. I wasn't a huge mm-hmm. fan of the story. I like the I liked the um, the the mechanics of like trying to. And for me, it was like the complete opposite. Different. I thought the battle mechanics were kind of kind of boring, but the story was great. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Deltarune? The uh, sequel? I like Deltarune. I like both chapters. They were both really good. I finished Deltarune. I think because I liked how Toby was able to improve on what he already made, and I was like, oh, this is what he probably wanted to make back then. Does that make sense? In terms of yeah, I get that. I get that. Like the art's definitely better in in yeah. Deltarune, and like the mu- the music and like the the music in Undertale is really good too, and the oh, characters yeah. in Undertale are really good as well. I've noticed like, lately. Uh, like, uh, go ahead. I was gonna ask Ackman if he liked uh, Combat Evolved more than Halo Two. Yeah, the campaign at least. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, same. I've noticed the more like like nowadays when I play video games, I've been playing shit like Farming Simulator more. I like a lot of those farming sim type games mm-hmm. more than I like actual gaming at this point. Like I just like the fucking, I don't know, man. Maybe like you guys have heard of this game Factoria? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Destiny, a friend of the show, like he he does these like political debates, and sometimes it's just I don't even tune in for the political debates. I open up a stream to like mute it because he'll usually have some like stupid shit on. Um, and then like he'll play factory and I'm just watching him build like a factory. It's just engineering. Like there's so many times where I load this game up at like 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, let's do an hour of this game. And then I'm playing factory and I look outside. And I'm like, all right, dude, we got to film the podcast in like an hour. So <laughs> best, best hope I'm fucking awake and ready. <laughs> you guys ever play RimWorld? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. What about Dwarf game? Fortress? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fortress. Yeah, dude. Dwarf. Dwarf Fortress, yeah. aka the hardest fucking, the most in depth PC game ever made. <laughs> dude, like, it, it's crazy. Dude, my, my bro was over one day and, like, just, he's like, So, can you explain how this game works? And I'm like, No! No! <laughs> like, you know, I, no, opened I, up can't. The t- I opened up the TV next to me and I found, like, this three hour long video by, like, a Dwarf Fortress YouTuber. I'm like, Just watch that. That's yeah. it. Just watch him. Just watch this guy cover it. Imagine you're a dwarf. There you, there you go. go. Yeah. Wasn't that a game in development for 15 years? 16 years? Or Pretty whatever? much. Yeah. It was. A, it used to be like this really old, dossy looking game. Like they mm-hmm. used to have like ASCII art and everything. And then just very recently, I think like two months ago, they had like a full yeah. Steam release and everything. Oh, the graphics um, not that good on the old one. Not that no. good. By I'll release, say, do you mean yeah. Minecraft when they released Minecraft and then they kept updating, updating, updating it? Is that? To kind of release? Oh, for no, no, no. This is a full 1.0. Like the oh, okay. guy's vision is complete, right? This game looks like a sequel to Minesweeper. Oh. <laughs> it does. The new one on uh, Steam is like the graphics are still terrible, but it's substantially better and easier to digest nowadays. Oh, yeah, like the, the old version of Dwarf Fortress, like the graphics were so bad, you need to have like add-on plug-in <laughs> applications to make it look semi-decent. Like that's yeah. how bad we're talking, the, dude. I will say RimWorld, which is like a direct, pred- it's like a, it's like a, a, a sequel in a way, yeah. not in any form of in, ter- in terms of it being about dwarves or fortresses or whatever. But the way that in, everything's like gameplay, randomly yeah. generated and stuff, um, RimWorld is is like a kind of a spiritual successor to Dwarf Fortress, and it's fucking fun. It's so good. Yeah, like, these are the kind of games you want to, like, set aside some time. Like, if you're a colony yep. builder, like, if you're, like, a SimCity type person, this mm-hmm. is the perfect type of game for you. Like, it's just... I install some nudie mods and let them people out there f*** out in the woods. Yeah, dude, just, like, reproduce. Like, exactly. like add, all, add all those things, dude. Yeah, 100%. Bro. Boobies, dude. Boobies. I go on Steam Workshop and I tap in boobies and then I start subscribing. That's probably That's how good. you know you made it as a game developer. Someone made a, a nudity mod for you. They're like, yeah. Yeah. they did it. They love my game. Yeah, it's the equivalent yeah. of so, getting canceled if yeah. you're a YouTuber. Nope. Well, it's like it's like I remember like f-ing just I had a buddy who played like Mass Effect on the PC, <laughs> and this is the time when like three was like like he was playing like ME three and like he saved Ashley, and I'm like, dude, why do you save Ashley? She's like a f-ing space racist. Like what the fuck? Like I don't even understand. Like I always rescue Kaden because she just she just bitches at you throughout the entire franchise if you save her, and then I realized why. So he goes to like. Again, spoilers for Mass Effect 3. I'm sorry, it's like a f***ing 20-year-old game, okay? Like, if you haven't played it now, you are <laughs> still trying to finish it. it. I gotta read every book first. <laughs> you gotta read all the f***ing codex lines for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. He, like, goes into the hospital where she's, like, on the bed, but he has, like, a nude mod installed, so she's, like, this crippled chick on a bed that's, like, totally nude and everything. I'm like, wow, you are one horny f-. I'm like, you are, God. you are, a, I'm like, like dude, like, I looked at him, oh. I'm like, bro, the 
Galaxy is at war right now, and you're like nude modding up all your NPC characters. How much of a sick freak are you? And like, he does it for every game. Like, Resident Evil 5, it's like Sheva's like, Sheva and Chris are totally naked. It's like the scene of nativity or something. Oh, like, they're yeah. running around the shooting shit. Yeah. I saw yeah. that. Why did that shit pop up on my timeline? It's just like giant Chris Redfield on my Twitter yeah, timeline. Like, it's like, he, like, Chris is out there fucking smashing a boulder and it's like just flopping yeah. around. I'm like, what the f like, how do you get immersed? It's like, I never play a video game without, like, nude mods, dude. Like, it has to be it, the fucking case. It does kind of make you think, like, what would be the funniest story if you just swapped out all of the characters and, and like, made them completely nude? Like, which story would be the funniest? You know what I mean? Velma. Oh, that would be true. <laughs> Dead Call of Duty space, would be bro. funny. <laughs> it would be Dead everyone space. on the battlefield just like yeah. full yeah. gear, but their dongs are out. Yeah, <laughs> their dongs are flopping. Yeah. Be quiet, all, Mikey. All, all war zones. It's like yeah, war zone is like that hardcore. Like you drop in and you're completely <laughs> naked. So you have to find everything in the same game world. <laughs> well, that's PUBG, isn't it? Like you just drop mm -hmm. in totally naked and you're finding like t-shirts and like mm -hmm. bras mm -hmm. around the map. But uh, yeah, that was um, I don't know, dude. In, that, that's the one thing with like PC gaming like, I'm looking at, I'm like, dude, I get the whole nude mod argument, but I'm like, god damn, dude, like, you, you gotta be one horny <laughs> bastard. You're one you're horny right. bastard. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, why her cripple, though? Like, at least wait for her to, like, like, go through the ICU in the game, Jesus Christ. It's also, but, like, a consistent horny, because, like, those those nude mods, I'm sure they don't just make them in, like, 30 minutes, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there's, Time like, a whole artist, spent. yeah. They have to it's make sure to make there's one. no bugs or anything. Yeah. It's an investment. <laughs> it's like yeah, directed, like focused, horny. Mm -hmm. there's, there's more effort going on there than yep. Bethesda's Q18. <laughs> like the developers like, our game was great, but this dude, ten times better, install his mod. They're like, oh, Hideo Kojima, you're right, I should install this mod. Do you think Hideo Kojima installed it? Do you think there's like any, like, you think Hideo Kojima's like a nude mod guy? Like, him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely so. But it's all blurred. Dude, I remember when MGS5, yeah, because he's Japanese, I remember when, like, <laughs> MGS5 came out and shit, and, like, the, the, the chick that made the controversy, because she was in the bikini quiet or whatever, and he's like, mm -hmm. when gamers find out why she's naked, they're gonna, they're gonna apologize, and then the excuse <laughs> was, she's like, she breathes through photosynthesis, I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, uh, that's not really that great of an excuse, but sure, I guess I'll take it. So you could just fuck. said, I want her to look like that. We figured out a reason later. He's like, listen, guys. Okay, I just wanted to get. I just wanted to put the one girl in Mother Base hot. Okay, that's it. Because nobody else on Mother Base is showing skin. All right, it's yep. like Saudi Arabia yep. up in here. Okay, like that's yep. it. So, the, I don't know, dude. It, it's weird. Like that's that that part of gaming to me. Like I get it, but like, goddamn, dude, <laughs> time and place, Professor Oak shit. Like I'm out here playing Resident Evil Seven and shit, and you're gonna turn the mold into nudes. Like, <laughs> how horny are you, bro? <laughs> If your reviewer <laughs> plays one of those, like imagine someone got an early copy of the game, right? They install some mods for fun, right? But they forget. They're like, oh, I have to record Dude, footage you know, for this review. You know what they should do? They should do mm -hmm. that as an anti-piracy solution for streamers. <laughs> like, and if some streamer downloads your game, <laughs> like it's just right in the middle of the scene, like Jack Baker walks up full <laughs> nude, <laughs> and gets hit with like a community <laughs> guideline strike. <laughs> Dude, I feel, I feel like games should do that. Like, they should just have, like, like if your streamer is caught, like, downloading the game illegally, just, like, f***ing spam all this community guideline breaking shit imaginable and just punish them that way, dude. Justice. Like, I only make sex tapes with copyrighted music so that if you steal yeah. it, leak it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 if, it, like, what they should do is, like, if you're hacking in, like, Call of Duty for, like, live streaming, they should just, like, blare the top 10 songs on Spotify yes. that day through the end. All you need is one Beatles song, just yeah. one. Copyright strike forever. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god, right? Like, but I don't know Dress how effective like Ronald it is. McDonald. I don't know how effective copyright on Twitch is, and I feel like the great way to end this whole I have a copyright whole, like... strike on Twitch somehow. Okay. I, don't know, I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, because, like, this Christmas season, a great way to, like, I guess tie off this, this whole, like, podcast with is mm -hmm. my favorite streamer ever, XQC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that guy, dude. I'm, I'm an XQC fan, okay? Like, I don't know if you guys... Mm -hmm. I'm You're not juicer. even memeing. 
I'm, I, dude, I, I inject that juice everywhere I go, dude. I'm ready to start. You go fuck the, the juicer. I was trying to find Home Alone two to watch because mm-hmm. my my dad was like, you know, I want to watch Home Alone two for the holidays. I go on Twitch TV and I just put on XQC strength. That's all I did. I'm like, what Here a legend. That. You're a hero. My dad was like, my dad was like, who's that in the corner? I'm like, oh, don't worry. That's a, that's how they subsidize the, the movie for free. It's like you get to watch the movie, but like occasionally the French guy gets to scream every once in a while. It's like the movie theater experience. There's just one guy yeah, right behind yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he's, it's like the one he's on the screen this time. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of no, copyright, that... though, I got the funniest copyright claim this week. Uh, I got a video blocked only in Russia, and the copyright claim was <laughs> for that. a remark a I made. Ah, uh, a remark. Yeah. But like, was you that like an actual right title or something? Yeah, repeat it. Come on, get us copyrights. Right. I don't. I don't know what the yeah. remark was. They, they, there was no timestamp or anything. Was that not the name of a copyrighted work? Yeah, no, I don't think Maybe. so. Yeah. <laughs> A remark you made. A remark yes. you made. That's what it said on it. I was just the, floating. The very beloved tell Russian you. song, A Remark You Made. It's old. <laughs> Classic. I think I got What's a copyright up? claim on a video for uh, my most recent one was GTA San Andreas theme. I was like, oh, come on, man. Most video game music is like fair game. Yeah. I yeah, but not the same. Sega Andreas, properties, so. they don't really care. Yeah. 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 They used to care. I remember I uploaded Metal Gear footage into like a product owned by Konami. Good <laughs> luck trying to fucking post this. Well, because I think and if, then they if, took it away. if the game companies like enforced the copyrighted music on YouTube, then like so many playthroughs would just mm-hmm. disappear. Yeah, they'd just get screwed. That's what they over. used to do with like Nintendo, unless you joined their Nintendo fucking con- uh, commune yeah. on YouTube. They because they still need to have complete control of that shit. I just I, I just want to end this all, all by saying. Nintendo, dude. I don't like Nintendo. I hate Nintendo. Yeah, thank God. Thank you. Jeez. If you're, if you're already... Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Now you just pissed off R slash Nintendo never Switch crybabies, dude. I've never played Switch. Never seen <laughs> one. Never touched it. Don't even know what Never touched it. Never... You've never, you've never played I've never, it. I've never done that Nintendo. I don't know what that is, boobies. I That's a very tiny Steam like Deck. Yet. How'd you get it so thin? I never dude, seen it like that. Dude, yet. the best part the about one? it is... After three months, it's finally been charged up, dude. This thing was sitting on my desk, no charge. I, I got this game the other day, like, uh, mm-hmm. off Play Asia, like the Signalis game. I was like, oh, let's play it on my Switch. Oh, it's dead for three. This thing took, like, ten minutes to, like, actually recharge. That's how dead the fucking battery oh, was. Oh, yeah. Dude. They tell you, uh, I think it was two years ago, Nintendo came out and said, oh, by the way, you have to charge your Switch once in a while, or else the battery will just die. And you're like, you're telling this, like, four years after you release the Switch? Okay. Like, no yeah, because they just found out. <laughs> yeah, like the Bluetooth. Well, they were chip. like, it's not, it's not the Joy-Con drifting that's bad enough. <laughs> it's your battery dying. That's also bad, <laughs> dude. It, it triggers the hell out of like. I have like people in my family who love the Switch so much, and I'm like, I bring this out, and they're like, What's this? Is this like a knockoff Nintendo Switch? And I'm like, Go fucking suck my. Ass. All right, knock off. And then I fire it up, and I'm playing Spider Man on it. I'm like, Yeah, knock off, right? It's just like a million years better. And then, and then I also, like, emulate Switch games, and they're like, you can do that on that? I'm like, yeah, that's how old the f***ing Switch is, dude. It's like, a it's, Linux, basically. Bro, yeah. it's wild that, like, I can play, like, Persona 5 Royale on a f***ing Android phone nowadays. Like, I showed this to, like, in a few people, too, but, like, you can play literally, like, s- Switch games on a cell phone now. Mm-hmm. And some of them run pretty goddamn decent, so, you know, it's a... It's a wild world we live in, dude. It's a wild world where Nintendo can ride off the coattails of this, like, ten year, like over 10-year-old product, by the way, because this mm-hmm. is the chip inside this is very old. And it was somehow, old when it first came out, wasn't it? The Tegra NVIDIA 3? Tegra? Yeah. yeah. Old as f***. And Kelly died on us, Jesus Christ. <laughs> are we, well, are we because, done? Yeah, I mean, we're done. Because because you died, you're going to have to bring the outro out, Kelly. You're going to have to, like, you're going to have to outro mm-hmm. this whole thing. That's your punishment. All right, everyone, that's all we've got for today. This is a Subordinate Podcast, signing out.